hello all welcome to the channel this is d square and today i'm gonna show you what is the use of the remote load and uh, how we can make a remote load on solidworks so i'm starting the tutorial so first uh, what is the use of a remote load where i can use a remote load so the answer is uh, if you have an assembly and uh, any other part is uh, affecting you on the assembly that time uh, you can make a remote load for that part or uh, second use is uh, if you want to decrease the messing time for that part so so that time also you can use the remote load for that body so i am starting the tutorial so go to here simulation and new study in static study here we just need to apply material so i am applying material for all same here uh, we have uh, two way to create a remote load so i am starting so the first one is here uh, select your object so i am selecting my object here and right click here and you can get option treat as a remote mask click here and you just need to select the face uh, where is this body is uh, affecting so i am selecting this face now click right here you can see my remote load is defined here you can also see remote load mass here is and uh, the second way is to create a remote load is right click on external load and uh, you can see here remote load now here you just uh, need to write down the all value of mass and this one lxx lyy and also the value of the location so how you can get uh, this all value of your uh, bodies and uh, one more thing is uh, here the unit is uh, kg into meter square so cancel it and uh, get here evaluate and click here mass property here you can see the all value which uh, you need to write down in a remote mass section but uh, here you can see the unit is a gram into square millimeter and uh, i want uh, that is a kg into meter square so we just need to change the unit first so click here and get here edit document unit and get here custom in a mass section property in length get here a meter in a decimal section i just want 2.8 up to 0.8 and in mass i want in kg kilogram okay now click right okay and just check here once more here you can get the unit is uh, kg into square meter okay so simple copy to clipboard and open your notepad and just paste here okay now just cancel this one now once more external load right click and you can get here remote load so now we are applying the old values here first i just need to write down mass in kg right so in the mass so this is my mass value and uh, okay we just make uh, one small mistake or oh, just cancel it delete i just want a uh, remote load okay so first uh, clear section and uh, here uh, i just need uh, to select this body because 
I need all dimension for this body so I need to select only this body and now we have the all the dimension for uh, this body only so now copy to clip board and cancel it copy on the notepad okay now done we have the all the dimension so just once more in remote load okay fine now click here mass okay so first uh, need to write down value of mass so here you can see my value of mass is here simply copy paste here the value control v and here uh, we just need to write down that is value of lxx lyy and lzz moment of inertia here you can get uh, the value here you can see lxx lyy and lzz so you can see all three value are the same okay so simply copy from here and paste okay done now we just need to write down that is value of lxy lyz and lxz so here you can see the value of lxy is 0 lyz is 0 and lzx is also 0 so no need to write down okay so we just need to write down one more value that is my location so in a location you can see center of mass so you just need to select all three value for here so make here in a meter because uh, my value is in meter here here you can see center of mass in meter okay so select the value and paste here for uh, y and write down for z okay here you can see all value we just write down okay now we just need to select the face where is my body is affecting so i am selecting this face just click right and click ok so this is the two way how you can add a, a remote load on solidworks okay so and uh, remote load is uh, only working as a gravity load or centrifugal so i am writing right click here get here gravity and just click right okay so just go to simulation study property and i am making this one is automatic slower okay just click ok and run the study okay we just forget uh, to make a fixture so right click here and fix geometry now add here this is my fixed geometry this face will fix uh, during the simulation so run the study okay so it shows uh, excessive displacement were calculated in this body so i just cancel it i don't need any detail right now okay so we got the result so this is the how you can use the remote load and uh, application of the remote load if you want to see displacement you can also see here okay so thank you for watching thank you all